America's military power has always been a combination of advanced technology, strategic innovation, and sheer determination. For decades, the United States has stayed ahead of potential adversaries by constantly evolving its arsenal, developing war machines that push the limits of engineering and imagination. But what's coming next is something that even the most seasoned military analysts find jaw-dropping. Today, we are about to pull back the curtain on the next generation of American war machines, vehicles, aircraft, and weapons systems that are already in the works and could redefine the battlefield of tomorrow. Imagine warships that can hunt in silence, aircraft invisible to radar yet faster than ever before, and autonomous robots capable of fighting alongside human soldiers. These are not concepts for a distant future. Many of them are already in testing phases, while others are quietly being integrated into the U.S. military's plans. The world may not be ready, but the technology is here. One of the most anticipated developments is the next generation of stealth aircraft. The F-35 has been the flagship of U.S. air dominance for years, but now the U.S. Air Force is working on something even more advanced. The NGAD, our next-generation air dominance fighter. This isn't just another jet, it's a complete system of systems. Designed with an even lower radar signature than the F-35, the NGAD will have the ability to control unmanned drones in combat extend its operational range far beyond current fighters, and engage in electronic warfare without compromising stealth. The Air Force has been tight-lipped about the exact specifications, but reports suggest the aircraft could break the traditional limits of speed and maneuverability. Instead of just being a fighter, the NGAD will function as a command center in the sky, linking ground forces, satellites, and other aircraft into a single, coordinated warfighting network. Alongside this, the Navy is preparing the B-21 Raider, a long-range stealth bomber designed to replace the aging B-1 and B-2 fleets. The B-21's strength lies not only in its stealth but also in its adaptability. It's being built to carry both nuclear and conventional weapons, operate with minimal maintenance, and integrate advanced AI for mission planning. The aircraft will be capable of striking anywhere in the world without detection, slipping past enemy air defenses that are becoming increasingly sophisticated. For adversaries, the mere presence of the B-21 in a region will be a strategic deterrent. But America's next war machines are not limited to the skies. On the seas, the U.S. Navy is developing unmanned surface vessels and submarines that could revolutionize naval warfare. Imagine a fleet of robotic ships, some the size of destroyers, patrolling vast stretches of ocean without human crews. These ships can carry weapons, conduct surveillance, and even launch missile strikes, all while being harder to detect due to their smaller radar signatures and quieter engines. One notable project is the Ghost Fleet Overlord, a program testing large unmanned surface vessels that can operate independently for months. In submarine warfare, the U.S. is working on new generations of nuclear-powered subs that can travel further, dive deeper, and remain submerged longer than any before. With the rise of undersea drones, America is ensuring it maintains dominance in one of the most contested domains of modern warfare, the deep ocean. On land, the next generation of war machines comes in the form of autonomous and hybrid combat vehicles. The U.S. Army is experimenting with robotic tanks that can scout enemy positions without risking soldiers' lives. These vehicles can be armed with cannons, machine guns, and even anti-tank missiles, all remotely controlled from a safe distance or operated by onboard AI. The advantage is clear, they can enter dangerous zones, respond faster to threats, and coordinate with other units in real time. The Army is also testing hybrid electric propulsion systems for its armored vehicles, allowing for quieter movement during stealth operations while reducing fuel dependency. A key component of future warfare will be drone technology, and the U.S. is preparing to unleash swarms of them. These are not just the large Predator or Reaper drones we've seen in past conflicts, we're talking about small, fast, and highly intelligent drones capable of working together like a hive. Swarm drones can overwhelm enemy defenses, conduct reconnaissance, and even jam communications. By using AI, each drone in the swarm can adapt to changing battlefield conditions, making them extremely difficult to stop. Imagine hundreds of drones descending on a target simultaneously, each with its own role, some to strike, others to distract, and others to collect intelligence. 
Hypersonic weapons are another breakthrough that will change the balance of power. These missiles can travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, making them almost impossible to intercept. While other nations, including China and Russia, are racing to perfect hypersonics, the US is investing heavily in its own versions, like the AGM-183 ARRW, air-launched rapid response weapon. These weapons could hit targets anywhere in the world within minutes, leaving adversaries little to no time to react. The key advantage is not just speed, but also maneuverability, which makes them unpredictable and nearly unstoppable. Space will also play a crucial role in the next era of war machines. The creation of the U.S. Space Force signaled America's intent to dominate this new domain. Future military satellites will not only provide communications and navigation but also detect and neutralize enemy satellites. Directed energy weapons, such as space-based lasers, could disable missiles before they even reach the atmosphere. The U.S. is exploring ways to deploy rapid response satellites that can be launched in hours, ensuring space superiority in any conflict. Cyber warfare is another battlefield, and America's next war machines will be as digital as they are physical. New AI-driven systems will detect, counter, and even preempt cyber attacks. This means enemy missiles could be stopped before they're launched by disrupting their command systems, or hostile drones could be hijacked mid-flight. Integrating cyber capabilities with physical war machines creates a force that can dominate in both the digital and physical realms. Then there's the rise of directed energy weapons, lasers and microwave systems that can disable aircraft, drones, and missiles without firing a single bullet. The U.S. Navy has already tested ship-mounted lasers capable of shooting down drones in seconds. These systems are cost-effective compared to traditional missiles and can fire repeatedly without needing ammunition. As technology advances, expect to see smaller, more powerful laser systems mounted on everything from fighter jets to armored vehicles. The U.S. military is also preparing for biological and chemical threats by developing advanced detection systems and protective gear. Future soldiers could be equipped with smart helmets that monitor health, provide augmented reality displays of the battlefield, and translate foreign languages in real time. Exoskeleton suits are being tested to give soldiers increased strength and endurance, allowing them to carry heavier equipment and move faster under fire. These enhancements could make the infantry of tomorrow more resilient and more capable than ever. Before, energy independence on the battlefield is another priority. Portable nuclear reactors, advanced solar arrays, and compact energy storage systems are being developed to power remote bases and forward operating units. This means troops can operate longer without relying on vulnerable supply lines for fuel, which is often a major weakness in extended operations. In terms of strategy, the U.S. is shifting towards a multi-domain operations approach, where land, sea, air, space, and cyber assets are all linked in real time. This requires war machines that are not just powerful individually but are designed to share data instantly and adapt to evolving threats. The NGAD fighter might detect an enemy ship and relay that data to a submarine, which then launches a missile, all within seconds. This interconnected network turns separate weapons systems into a single, overwhelming force. Of course, developing these machines requires enormous investment. Billions of dollars are being funneled into research and development, much of it classified. Some of the most exciting projects are those we don't even know about yet. Prototypes hidden in hangars, technologies being tested in remote deserts or deep under the ocean. The U.S. military thrives on maintaining a technological edge, and secrecy is part of that strategy. Critics argue that such advancements could escalate global tensions and spark an arms race. But supporters point out that military strength is also a form of deterrence. The stronger and more advanced the U.S. arsenal, the less likely adversaries are to risk direct confrontation. The reality is that technology will continue to advance whether we like it or not, and the military's challenge is to stay ahead of those who would use it against America and its allies. In the end, the next generation of America's war machines is not just about bigger guns or faster planes. It's about smarter more connected, and more adaptable systems that can operate across every domain of warfare. Whether it's an AI-controlled fighter jet, a swarm of autonomous drones, a stealth ship prowling the oceans, or a satellite defending the skies, these machines represent the future of military power. They are designed not only to win wars but to prevent them.
by making the cost of aggression too high for any adversary to consider. As these technologies come online, the balance of power in the world will inevitably shift. Nations will watch closely, some in fear, others in determination to match the US's capabilities. But for now, one thing is certain, the future battlefield belongs to those who can innovate the fastest, and America is making sure it remains at the front of that race. The question is not whether these war machines will change warfare, it's how soon the world will see them in action. And when that day comes, it will mark the beginning of a new chapter in military history, one where the lines between human and machine, physical and digital, land and space are blurred like never before.